All right, hazard switch illumination. So uh, this is one of the diagrams. This is actually an enlarged diagram. And this is the main diagram for the turn signal flasher for this 1981 300SD. Um, and what we're going to do is uh, go over this really quick. So uh, it's kind of hard to see, but this is your hazard switch. Okay, there's two fuses power coming to the hazard switch. Um, uh, but what I'm focusing right now on is just the illumination because my hazard switch is working. Okay. Here's the hazard switch. It's actually brand new one that I replaced like a year ago. Uh, and then this is my connector for the hazard switch, okay? So, see this picture? So I made this, I enlarged this picture. So this is the hazard switch, okay? So these two wires are the ones we're worried about. Um, it's, this diagram is actually wrong. Uh, it says green and red wire, and then this is ground. Um, but this is, these two wires are, um, basically the ones for illumination. So, uh, it's actually terminal 31 and 58. So the power comes to the terminal 58, which is this guy. And then comes out of this pin, uh, which is terminal 31. So I checked my ground. I do have a ground. Okay. On the 31 and just don't have the power feed. Uh, and the power actually comes from, uh, it's actually supposed to come from the headlights, okay? Because, like I said, we're worried about the, uh, just the illumination. These two power feeds are not the ones I'm worried about because those are just for the hazard switch and it's working. But the illumination, um, gets its power from the cluster. So when you turn your headlights on, Okay, uh, you get the, the power, uh, but I was not getting power on this wire, okay? So right now, um, I already tested, there's power coming out from the cluster and stuff, and I just found um, this blue wire that goes to your climate control and that illuminates all these uh, bulbs for the climate control. So I just uh, uh, spliced uh, another wire to it, as you can see. So this blue wire, just cut it here and then I put a splice here and then I added this wire. Um, and there's basically a short, uh, not short, but just open somewhere between the cluster and this hazard switch. So uh, instead of just chasing that, I just added a new wire. Okay, so there's a new wire. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna find the wire, which is for this car, it's actually this uh, white and blue wire as a power feed for your, your illumination. This uh, wiring diagram says that it's uh, green and red, but it's actually wrong. It's supposed to be blue and white. Um, but other than that, the wiring diagram is correct. Uh, yeah, and uh, right, now, right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this wire, um, white and blue, and I'm gonna splice this wire in nicely and then we're gonna recheck, we're gonna connect our hazard switch. I'm gonna recheck, make sure it's lighting up because I was working on, I mean, I was driving this car before and then it would just, uh, you know, all the lights were pretty much working, you know, I was driving at night and then I would turn on my uh, headlights and cluster would uh, illuminate and, you know, climb control, all that stuff, but, <laughs> one of the switches that wasn't like illuminating was just this hazard switch and like ah, this is such a cool switch such a nice switch that classic mercedes have you know like right here and it's it's a red color you know and it's not illuminated you know i'm like nah this is not the way it's supposed to be so fixing it today and anyways i'm gonna oh here by the way that's that's where how this sits you know everything is going to be going back together on this car soon uh, and yeah, I was talking about that. I need to weld floors on fl the floor on this side But as you know, I've got my 190e and a bunch of other things in my dad's car right now So it's like pretty hard, uh, but I'll get to that eventually uh, The biggest thing on this car is going to be changing the timing chain uh, That's one of the reasons I stopped driving this car. Uh, it's because the timing chain is 
really loose so I actually did try to uh, replace the timing chain tensioner and the spring and it didn't help um, there's a lot of play in the timing chain um, and I checked uh, I didn't really see that thing being like really stretched you know I checked for like degrees the degrees of stretch and I don't think it was that bad I don't remember it was a couple months ago but I need to change the timing chain I already got the part so I'll be doing that soon and yeah make sure you check your timing chains guys um, if your car has uh, if you can lift off uh, you know the timing chain pretty high off of your camshaft sprocket um, you know that's pretty bad sign you need to change that or you need to first you know obviously try the tensioner maybe the tensioner is just failing uh, but uh, in my case the tensioner was okay so I'll be changing the timing chain pretty soon I already have a part uh, so yeah that's one of the reasons I stopped driving this car because you don't want your ch timing chain to break and these cars and these engines they already have so many miles like 300 400 thousand miles so uh, this car, by the way, has 445,000 miles, um, and uh, I have a really huge bond with this car. I really love it so much. I drove it across the United States uh, like last year. It was amazing. It was an amazing trip. You know, the car was in, the car is actually in a pretty poor shape, but I drove it across the United States, and it's amazing. You know, um, show me a brand new car, brand new Mercedes that will make it uh, to this age with this high of a mileage. There's no way. All the new Mercedes that they make nowadays, they will uh, they will be in the junkyard already uh, after like seven years or so. Um, so yeah, same thing goes to Tesla. If you are a Tesla guy, I'm sorry, uh, your Tesla will not last as long as classic Mercedes. Um, yeah. Anyways, I got off topic a little bit. Uh, I need to finish this hazard switch uh, wiring, and then I'll show you. I'll get back to you, and we're gonna turn on the headlights. I'm gonna show you that this works. And this cluster is actually out right now because I was, like I said, I was doing some, you know, diagnostics on this switch. So I'm gonna be putting everything back soon. As soon as I'm done with this uh, wiring uh, for this hazard, hazard, hazard switch, I'll be probably putting everything back together here, this center console and all that stuff. Thanks to these amazing tools, I was able to finish the job. Um, okay, here's my hazard switch. And then here's that wire, okay. Um, and I just spliced it here with this from this blue wire, so it's getting this power. This blue wire goes to the yeah, climate control and illuminates climate control. I'm going to turn the headlights on. So I took the power from this blue wire, and so I added this black wire. It goes all the way here, and it just uh, splices here, okay? This is to that uh, white and blue wire. And uh, right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to turn the headlights on and um, I'm going to try to make it uh, more obvious. So I'll probably set it right there. So it's going to be easier to see because it's still a daylight. So it's kind of hard to see whether it illuminates or not. Maybe that will work. Okay, I'm about to turn the headlight on. Headlights on. Let's see. Uh, let me see. One, two, three, go. Oh no, <laughs> that's a bad idea. Uh, it didn't work out uh, because all the, the the light from these bulbs are just like going into it. So I have to maybe try to show you right like this. Uh, it's gonna be a difficult shot. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I can do it. It's gonna be a horrible video, by the way, guys. You guys are not used to such horrible videos, I guess, on my channel. But I remember when I was starting out with YouTube and stuff, I, I was uh, doing all the work on cars with just uh, and filming with my phone. And yeah. All right, I covered up those uh, climate control bulbs. So right now, let's go ahead and I'll show it to you. Okay. Watch closely. I'm about to turn the headlights on. One, two, three, go. See that stuff? Awesome. That's amazing. Let's try again. See if you can see the difference. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. That's it, guys. Woohoo! So I fixed that up, so that's out of the way. Right now I'm gonna be uh, using uh, good electrical tape on this. Um, 
and we're gonna tape this baby up and it should be good i don't need my tesla anymore thank you tesla T tesla <laughs> thank you tesla you helped me out a lot today put that there and uh yeah i'll get back to you after i finish uh taping this uh additional wire that i added to this okay just taped it up nicely same thing with this guy and i use this awesome tape i really like this tape uh, it's not your average electrical tape it's actually like something that reminds me that you know they were you know that they used from the factory it's kind of like soft tape soft electrical tape um it's pretty awesome really like that stuff almost like this one kind of you know um so yeah so that's how you fix the illumination your hazard switch um if you have a problem with your car it applies to pretty much any other car the main thing is like i said you guys have to follow find the, your I don't know, the wiring diagram for your specific car because you cannot do electrical diagnostics without the wiring diagram it's going to be it's going to be really hard it's going to be a pain so you must find electrical wiring diagrams for your year making model and you have to follow you have to know how to read it. it's not that hard you know uh, so yeah that's pretty much it guys thank you so much uh for watching my channel and for your support i'll see you in the next one